back to my channel. I got friend mail and it is towed up. Look at this box. Del Dente. I worked for the United States Postal Service. This is extra. But I'm excited to share it with you because. Sorry. I'm trying to find that. It used to be a pull tab, but I think they taped over it. Can I get a box cutter, sweetheart? If you don't mind. So, Louisiana. From, who has sent me stuff before from California shared with me on messenger that her store had Christmas stuff already and she said what do you want and I was like oh can I have this please please stop <laughs> thank you so she said what do you want and I was like oh you don't have to I can wait and she's like no what do you want so I was like honestly I only asked for a couple of things so um but especially don't I mean, I love getting stuff in the mail, but then when I see how much it costs to ship, like, $2 worth of items, it doesn't make it cheap anymore. <laughs> I'm so glad that this box is, like, busted. But she had it in a bubble wrap pack first, so that's kind of good. Really weird, right? Yeah. She sent me more than I asked for. Do you have a return policy? <laughs> Never unpack gift Fred mail in front of your husband. Okay, so one thing that I Especially asked her for. your husband's already drowning and stuff. One thing I asked her for was this merry and bright um, wood decor. This is that laser cut wood decor that they've just been blowing out of the water here, here at the Dollar Tree, at the Dollar Tree. Um, this is, I will show you in case you need to find it. I know a lot of you do that way. Um, this is from this Christmas, it's brand new. Um, I love everything about it. I love the font. I love the saying. I love that you can actually very carefully cut out the word Mary and use it in something else. But thank you so much. This was the other thing that I asked for, and she actually actually sent me two. Oh, wow. So, I know. I know what you're thinking. Yes, Jerry, you had to have that. Let me just do this real quick so you can see the detail. So it's got a three-dimensional door and they cut out the door handle. Three-dimensional bumpers and the tree is sitting behind. So if I can. Nah, don't. This is what I got it for, sorry. So if I can show you really quick. Mm -mm. The tree comes off. So now you can whatever you want with this truck. And the tree is still a tree. You could still use the tree in other things. So what my thought was, and, and forgive me for doing this so violently on the TV here, I probably would have taken my blade and gone under it. But my thought was, if you took these, got a little bit of that magnetic strip from Walmart, but they also sell things with magnets on them from the Dollar Tree, and added to these pieces, you could literally, could you grab me a pumpkin out of the, even one of the painted ones that's sitting right on the table right now. Just it, take one that's on top and we'll put it back exactly where it was. So my thought was you could glue a little piece of metal back here, like say, you want what's, or a jack no baby, from the, yeah, that's fine, all of them. That's good, I forgot they were there. That's great. So basically you can put a little magnet on this and then glue a little piece of metal to back here. So sort of like a little label, possibly from um, all of those cute little farmhouse signs, any type of little piece of metal and glue it to the back of the truck. You could do like interchangeable and we're gonna DIY this. So I'm not telling you this now, but we're, you could interchange what goes into the back of the pickup truck. So say your pickup truck wants to carry seashells. Don't say your pickup truck wants to carry seashells. Don't say that at all. <laughs> but if your pickup truck wants to carry pumpkins, I don't know why he didn't just go get the pumpkin I asked him for, but that's okay. Because I saw those pieces there and I figured if you're yeah. going to be doing a different seasonal type. Yeah, that's okay. They're just, it's not the right size pumpkin, so that's okay. Oh, well, no, 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 it's okay. It's really okay. They, they've seen enough. So if you want to do hearts for Valentine's Day, the leaves are really, really much bigger, but you get the idea. You get what I'm trying to say. Okay, at least I hope you do. So I'm so grateful she gave me two because now I can actually leave one for Christmas. Okay. And this one I will 100% do a DIY on and show you guys how to make it into whatever color truck you're into. It Maybe not red, maybe one of those light blue teal colors. I know Lisa, if she was gonna have one, she would probably have that teal color. 
Um, she really wants Puse it in a. She, she, Puse is not. Puse is like purple. Uh, she would really like it in a VW van, but however, you know, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so that's the two signs she sent me. These two were not, everything, everything else was she just gave it to me because she's a sweetheart and loving person. She sent me two gingerbread men. These are so cute. I didn't really notice them when they were hanging on the board the first time, but then I did the second time. I feel that, I'm sorry. I feel like you're losing the detail on this, and if not, I look like a ghost, so I'm kinda gonna balance in the middle. But they have uh, three-dimensional cuffs and collars. Nope, they have a bow tie. They have three-dimensional cuffs on their ankles and their <laughs> wrists, and they actually have buttons. They have crafty kind of like sewing kind of buttons. Of course, you rip these off and put gumdrop buttons on there, right, Julie? Not the gumdrop buttons. My sister does that the best. I'm sorry. But I thought these were so cute. And I'm so glad she sent them to me. Mm. I'm, I really have a hard time asking people for things. And especially when they reach out and then I'm like, I can't. These are the other signs. So this one says peace on earth. Which I have a really cute story about peace on earth. Two years ago for Christmas, uh, Aunt Sue was trying to buy me a present. And she's so generous to me throughout the year. She said, what do you want for Christmas? I just want, I said, I want world peace. So she actually got me a pillow that said peace on earth. So now every time I see peace on earth, this is what I think of. I think of Aunt Sue and that cute pillow and this wonderful story. So I love this. It comes in like a Times New Roman font with the pretty like uh, farmhouse sort of script in the middle. Um, I really do love that as well. I feel like I want to cut out the word peace because you know, 50th anniversary of Woodstock. And then this is the third sign that says let it snow. And I do, it's so fun. It does remind me of, of Frozen, even though it's, it's let it go, but still that's what I feel like it's a play on those words anyway. But with the snowflake here and the font the way it is, I just, I love it. Now they also had other laser cut things. They came out with ornaments. This is sort of the same snowflake. Well, it's a different snowflake, but it's like the same size. Do you see that as what's in there? Um, and there are a five pack, just like the pumpkins and the leaves were, and they come with a little jute string to tie. I think that they're absolutely adorable. And so I cannot believe one of these is 20 cents. Like I can't believe that they're doing this and they're blowing it out of the water. Now, it's another thing I didn't ask for, and I'm super excited she sent it to me, but you guys know I love these wooden stickers. Um, this one has snowflakes, glitter trees, and gift packages. And I think you can see the detail on the gift packages. These ones have Christmas stockings, crisscross candy canes, and mittens. And again, you can see the wood detail on the candy cane. I mean, on the mittens and the candy canes. Do you see that? Can you pick that up at all? I hope you can. And this one, I, I, I you know, yeah, it's snowflakes, stars, and Christmas trees. And the trees, you can see they have the detail of the Christmas balls and stuff, but they are just amazingly lovely. Amazingly lovely. And you get 12 of each. So again, this is like less than 10 cents a sticker. This is like a wood cutout less than 10 cents. I'm just saying. But the piece de resistance. I know, I have to take them out of the package. They say peace, joy, and believe. And boy, have I been waiting for them to say believe for the longest time. It is my all time favorite song ever. It's called, um, it's by Third Day. It's called, uh, sorry, I'm trying to open the package. And the little, you can see the metal is sticking out of the plastic bag, so I'm trying to finagle. Um, it's called I Believe, and it's sort of an anthem, you know? For me, anyway. Um, it's so pretty. And it's cut out of galvanized aluminum, I'm guessing. It could be galvanized steel. I have to see if it's magnetic. Where's my phone? Hold on. Oh, no, that's not magnet. Never mind. The magnet's on the car. The phone doesn't have the magnet in it. This one says believe and it's absolutely beautiful. So 
sorry. If you've ever dealt with these letters before, you know how difficult they are to get out of the bag, so. Um, This one says peace, and again, peace on earth, goodwill towards men. I don't know you can see it. Oh, there we go. Put it against my white arm. That's perfect. <laughs> and this one, of course, is absolutely gorgeous, and if your name is Joy, go for it. But this one says Joy, and how pretty is that? It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really pretty. They're lovely. Thank you, Dollar Tree. <laughs> Thank you, Louisiana. You are so sweet. I like, when you read, okay. Gosh, I almost did it. <laughs> I almost got through it, okay. Okay, so when she, re I don't even wanna look in the camera. <laughs> So when she reached out to me to share that with me, I was excited enough just for her to share that Christmas stuff was out at her Dollar Tree. And then when she asked me, what do I want? That was like, it blew it over the top. And I was really trying to process like, I really need to say I don't want anything. And um, I will tell you why I gave in is because I instantaneously had ideas for certain items like that truck. And here's the thing, I don't live by a big city. It's not 100% guaranteed that you have to live by a big city, but the Dollar Trees that are by big cities or in suburbs of big cities or around big cities do tend to get stuff sooner than other people. I just posted a pumpkin DIY last night. It was September 9th, it's not even Thanksgiving yet, <laughs> it's not even Halloween yet. And people were saying that they wish they would have picked up those pumpkins when they were in their stores. Now, those pumpkins just came to my store two weeks ago. I mean, when I was in St. Louis, they were there earlier, but here in Rolla, they really just came to my stores. So I, I, I don't, that's why I like to go to the city when I do go to the city and shop at the Dollar Tree because they'll get stuff sooner and I can get stuff out to you sooner. Um, but part of me was like, I really can't accept anything from her. She's just a, such a lovely human being. She's also the one who sent me the, um, I'm 99.9% sure. Forgive me if you're not uh, Louisiana, but I'm pretty sure you sent me the cross wreath forms. Um, and if my, if my old lady memory serves me correct. Um, so she's just been so generous and she's so sweet and I, So many of you are. It's, it gives me such joy. These are happy tears, I trust me. It gives me such joy to know that I have attracted like-minded people who, who see the value in the work, not just in the dollar, if that makes any sense. Um, so I thank all of you, but especially Louisiana, thank you so much because these are amazing gifts that I did not expect so many beautiful things, and I really do appreciate it. Now I don't have to sit with bated breath until they all come to my store in November. Uh, well, um, thank you very much again. And thank you all. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. And take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye.